Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good to see all of you here tonight. Amen. 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 Uh, we have a little bit different service uh, beginning tonight. And, um, you know, last week I talked about now is the time. And I talked about that we need to start believing for sudden manifestations. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 And so tonight I'm going to open up for some testimonies. And I know of two that we right off that we're going to have. Uh, and at this time, we're going to just go right into our testimonies, and I'm going to ask Chrissy if she'll come up and share her testimony of now is the time. Amen. Amen. Give her a clap. Thank Hello. Hello. Okay, so let me, I got to backtrack some. In June of last year, my daughter was put on complete bed rest because of difficulty with her pregnancy. So I moved out of my house and moved into her house to help her supplement her income where she couldn't work. And I was on disability and been on disability since 2010. So I moved into her house and it's very different when you move from, your children move out of their, your house and you move into theirs. <laughs> because then it's like, if they're slobs, you got to live with it. <laughs> and that was my life. So to say that it was difficult is a, just a little of an understatement. So I was ready to move by November. October, I'm like, it's time, it's time. But I was praying about it and it was like, you need to stay, you need to stay, you need to stay. So January, the baby was six months old. And I told Katie, I said, you know, you're fully recovered and it's time. So I started looking around at apartments and stuff and I found this place that I really liked. So before I put the application in, I prayed over it. And I'm like, if this is supposed to be, let me get it. If it's not, just let them keep the $50 and move on. So I put the application in on a Tuesday. On Wednesday, they called me. I got the apartment. So then I had the option of when I was going to move out. So I couldn't just leave my daughter. It was kind of like a, you know, you got to take baby steps to get away from her and the baby. So I decided on April 1st that I was moving out. So March 31st, I get my check. I go pay the rent and everything. And by the time I was done, I had $27.00 in my bank account to do me the entire month of April. Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting there and I'm in my car and my daughter's with me and I said, God, you I told you that if I had if I got the apartment, you had to help me. So I need help because I can't live an entire month with twenty seven dollars. I had no food in the refrigerator, not a speck of salt. Nothing. <laughs> I could not cook. I couldn't do anything. So Fifteen minutes later, my phone rings, and it's work. And I worked every single day of the month of April. Wow. I made as much money as I had to spend to move in. I made that back plus something. So that, that was that was April. That was the entire month of April was like insane, over the top. I just, I just like would go home so tired and so blessed and then the next day get up and do it again. So my car, and all y'all know my car, you can probably smell the gas pulled <laughs> into the parking lot of the church. So I knew I needed a car, but I'm like, I can't rush. I gotta like slow slow you roll, you know, like pray over it. So Jeff took me Friday and we went to look at cars just to kind of get an idea of what I was gonna do. So we go in there and the guy's like, they were packed Friday. So he's like, you want to come back Sunday? We pick three o'clock. So I get there and I'm just going to look to text drive a car. I have a car. All right. I, okay, so my car was a junk. It was junk. <laughs> so they go out there and they appraise it, right? He comes back in and he looks at me and he goes, I can give you $100 for your car. And I'm like, I'm not looking for... I know what it is, you know? I'm not like sitting here going, oh, that is a Cadillac. I knew what it was. 
So then he runs the numbers and stuff, and he goes, you need $100 down for a, for a down payment on a car, and it's yours. So my trade-in of a piece of junk that was $100 was the down payment that I needed to have the car that I had. So I paid nothing. So that was my blessing. That was my blessing. And so all of the message on now is the time. That is what started the ball rolling. So that is my testimony. Not up there. Okay, mine's a little different. Uh, you did start bringing folks to services with you on Wednesday night. Yeah. That's the first thing. Uh, Wednesday, I'm cleaning off a lot. We're loading up stuff to take it to the dump. Uh, anyway, that, and I've had to do a bunch of other stuff that put me in a lot of uh, growing up areas, I'll say, growing up areas, being foliage, woods, okay? I get home and I told Peg, I said, look at my arm. I had poison ivy from here to here and just wet to play, great. <laughs> you know, I took a shower, we got ready, we came to church. Well, I don't know if you were here last Wednesday night, but there's a lot going on in here. <laughs> I didn't come up for prayer, there was a line from here to here. <laughs> All I did was held my hand up and, and prayed the best I could in the spirit for other people that was receiving their hit. I didn't think nothing about nothing. Uh, I had a vacuum carpet my patty did a choir, so I didn't ever have time to even think about anything else. We get home, we eat dinner, you know, and I said, well, you know what? I need to, to doctor this stuff. I have some wash, a scrub that you wash it and it's supposed to dry it up. I said, I need to wash this stuff before I go to bed so this stuff start working. I hold my arm up. It's gone. Because it uh, it strengthens our faith, Amen. Amen. So if God's done a, a, a suddenly or giving a blessing to you, Amen. Share it with us. Come on up, Latasha. Thank you. Don't you have a testimony? Give her a hand. I'm not working that much, so I was just praying about it. So my grandmother's usually the go-to person. Everybody's like, Grandma, I need some money. I was like, no, I don't want to go to my grandmother. I don't want to go to my husband. Because, you know, some people will say no, and then I'm still back depending on the Lord. So I said, I just want to depend on the Lord. Amen. So I think before Cal and I got married, he was on child support for Bryson. So at the beginning of the year, the child support never kept calling. I said, why are these people calling me? This case didn't close years ago. So I was cleaning out my mail, I think it was last week, and I said, I'm just going to call them. So maybe they'll stop calling me. 
I said, hey, I keep getting a call. I said, the case was closed years ago. And she said, what's the card number? So I gave her the card number. And she said, you have money on this card. <laughs> oh, no. I said, how much? <laughs> Church because 
it just is amazing and we all need to know what's going on right now. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to turn it over to you guys. Amen. 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 Before he gets started, one testimony, Jessica got a jaw. Oh. The next thing they asked her, when can you start? So she will be working at Country's Barbecue downtown. So I'm just happy she got it. that comes with it to tell you what to do, what arm to put it on. And if you do have it on that arm, you can't get in. Yes. You put it on your right hand, and uh, once you fasten it real tight, it's been cut, I just cut it off. Once you snap it together, you can't take it off, it's on. So when you go in, I mean, it is packed. I mean, if anybody been to Pier Park in uh, Panama City, there was no parking space. I mean, it absolutely jammed out. People from everywhere, I mean, it was crazy. So you go in, you got your wristband on, and they swipe you. You swipe this band. That's a chip in this thing. If anybody can see that, that's a chip in this. You swipe it when you go in. They swipe it. Beep. You go in. Once you get in, you can't use cash at all to buy anything. It's a cashless event. You go in, so I go in, and so we're sitting there by some people, we got our seats, and um, it's hot, it's, it's not real hot, but it's hot. So I said, well, I'm going to get a lemonade and some water. So I take a $20 out of my pocket to go get some water from, from this little concession deal. They said, no, sir, uh, you can't use it in cash again. I said, you can't use the cash. She said, did you get the instructions? So we didn't even know. We I assume it could be either or. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can put cash on the little thing or, you know, put money on there, or you can use your card or cash, whatever. But no, that was not the case. So mm -hmm. you got to go to a stationary place to put how much you want to put on your chip. And when you put that on, you can put for it, whatever you can, you can use your debit card or whatever. You put it on there, and that's how you spend it. If you don't have any money on it, you can't, you can't eat or buy or sell. Uh -huh. You can't even buy, or they won't sell you anything. And there's no negotiating. If you got, say, you see something for 10 bucks, you only got $8 on it, you can't buy it. Everything is set in stone, they control everything. They control all the money and everything. They control it. I'm telling you, the system is set up. Oh, yes, yes, yes. 
You know, like me and Pastor Rock tell you, to talk about a lot of people don't like to watch the news because there's so much going on bad. It's not what they show you on the news, it's what they don't tell you. That's right. That's right. Amen. They're slipping it right on by. Oh, it's going to be. It, 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 it is a big deal. When, right. when I went to get this, and they put this, I mean, they can put it on me fast. Yeah. Those guys with the computer, they tell you, beep, beep. Oh, you said this, bro. You said it. So you can go whatever. I mean, you can't buy anything unless you got it on this chip right here. Now, you can sit back and say what you want to if it's here. But, see, all this can't come into place until Jesus comes back. So it let you know how close he is to coming yeah. back. Yeah. Everything is set now. They got chips and ammo. They can track your ammo. They can track everything. They track all the money. And I guarantee you, out of those four days, they made about $25 million. Oh. I mean, you won't believe the people with that. That thing was, I mean, it was set up like, the, the food vendors were set up like a restaurant outside. I mean, it was set up perfect. I mean, beautiful. I mean, we had a great time. But when we saw this, I don't know if we were the only two shocked. And now we, I looked at her. I said, "You know what? You know what this is about?" I mean, we were shocked. Yeah, we forgot we were thirsty. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I went to get it, and when I, they put this on my wristband, and they logged that in, and I had money on that. I would, I would, I would mess up. It messed me up. I forgot about the concert there for a minute because I was telling, I said, well, "This is the start of this is this, this is it. Amen. We it, this is the beginning of it. They, it, it is it is set up for it. And they, they said we met some people. They said this is the first time it ever happened like this because this is the 18th anniversary of it. And I guess they usually use cash, and a lot of cash had been missing, and a lot of stuff had been, but uh, this is it. And it's, and it's a, a controlling the vendors, because when you go to the vendors and you want to buy food or drinks or something, they can see how much money you have on your chip. Yeah. So if you don't have enough to buy it, because you can put it there, they can check, oh yeah, you got enough to buy that. And then you buy it and you have to do it again and beep again. So, for instance, like Jesse, he spent all of his money. <laughs> um, he put on his. And, but I had like $4 left on mine, but nothing was $4 there, so I couldn't get my money back off. Oh, so, very expensive. yeah, so it was nothing left there for $4, so they kept my $4, so I couldn't get that back off. But and it's a way of controlling the vendors how much money that they make, and that's how it's gonna be, y'all. Yes. That's how it's gonna be, but it's a way, it's, it's control. Yes. And if they were controlling you how much money the business was making, they nobody gonna tell you about this. Exactly. And nobody, it's, it's here, I mean, it is here. They're not gonna talk about this, okay? We experienced, I mean, we experienced it firsthand, and we, it was shocking. And everybody was just having fun. We were looking at each other. <laughs> <laughs> we, we had just, about a 30 minute conversation about this. Because he, when he went there to get us eliminated water, he came back. He said, baby, I can't, I can't buy it. I said, what you can't buy? It? <laughs> he said, it's cash. I said, well, it should be an option. He said, no. So he didn't go right to the station to put the money on the van and get me some lemonade. He came back, but we sat there for about 30 minutes just talking about this doggone wristband and the chip, and we couldn't buy nothing to drink. We had to put money on the chip. Yeah, cash, no money. Cash is. No and when we left. You have all the money in the world, and you can't even spend it. No cash. And when we left, um, you would think you could just could walk out, but no, they're tracking you. When we left, they wanted to know that we left. Yeah, he's in, and yeah, swipe out. Is he had his little iPad yeah. and oh, he scanned it twice to know that we're no longer in the park. Oh man. It's here. It's here. But oh. we just and we told we want we wanted to share that with pastors and and Jesse was very passionate about this and wanted to to yeah. share it with y'all. It's yeah. it's here, Christian. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. here. Yeah. It's here. Yeah.
I believe that the Lord is going to do mighty things in these last days, amen, amen. because he is not through saving people. Amen. He's not through delivering people. Amen. He's not through filling people with his spirit. Amen. He's not through with his miracles and signs and wonders, amen. amen. He's still moving. He has much to do in this earth, amen. 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 And I believe that he is feeding up things in the spirit. Amen. Amen. So we can look to see for more miracles, yes. more signs yes. and wonders, yes. more healings, yes. more salvations, more deliverances. Amen. Amen. We can look for all these things Amen. because God is mighty. And he's got a mighty work to do yes. on this earth before Amen. He comes back. Amen. Amen. And so that's all we have for tonight. Wanted to share that with y'all tonight. And uh, just thank God that that. Uh, we can see what's going on in the world and just be ready. And we can, you know, when we tell what the uh, what our, we get a revelation of what's going on, then other people, their eyes will be open. I mean, the people we're praying for, our loved ones and our friends and those that we're praying for, amen, their eyes can be open and say, it's time for me to get ready right now. Amen. It's time for me to get saved right now. I can't put it off. I've got to do it now. And I believe God is just wrapping things up. Amen. Amen. And we're going to be right in the middle of it and exciting. Amen. Amen. Give God a hand. Amen. Amen.